Hi, I'm Mira from Floor with Mira, and this is Boki, my assistant for the day. Today, I'm going to take you to a Pilates class for core workout. So before we begin the class, let's talk about where is your core and what's involved in your core. The core is the area in the body that spans from the lower ribcage all the way to the pelvis area. And it covers the muscles of the front of the body, the deep muscle of the front of the body, the back of the body, and the side of the body. There's a lot of a misconception that the core is only consisting of the abdominals. The abdominal muscle is part of the core, but as well as your deep back muscle and your hip flexors. When you have improved better core strength, you find yourself that you have less ache and pains in the body, as well as your posture will improve and your overall body appearance. So let's go ahead and start the class. We're going to begin the class. If it's available for your body today, you can kneel up and join me. Otherwise, you can also sit down or cross your leg for the first session. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and sit. Not sit, I'm going to kneel up. Okay, I'm going to, we are going to do some breathing and deep abdominal muscle contractions. The deep abdominal muscle is called the transverse abdominus. It works like a corset that wrap around your midline. Okay, so kneeling upright tall, I really want you to align your knee, your hip, your shoulder, okay? Now, let's take your hands on the side of the rib cage. Stay nice and tall. Inhale in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. So we inhale as you allow the ribs to expand. Exhale, contract the abdominal region, wrapping from the side to the inside, the bottom to the middle, and the top part to the middle. Everything goes towards your belly button. And inhale, expanding the rib cage. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Three more times. Two more. Last one. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead. Bring yourself down to a modified quadruped position. So you align the shoulder and the heel of the palm. And your pelvis is somewhere between your knee and your heel. Keeping your spine nice and long. Here. Press down with the hands. At the same time, I like you to open and broaden the shoulders outward. We're going to do that transverse abdominus engagement again. So we inhale through the nose, expanding the rib cage. Exhale, I like you to draw in the TVA, the transverse abdominus muscle, like a corset wrapping around the midline. So you're feeling that the abdominal region is being pulled up off the ground towards the spine without disturbing the position of that natural curve in the spine. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Try to access from the lower abdominal, the middle abdominal, and the upper abdominal, drawing everything in towards the belly button, and that belly button region drawing upward towards the spine. In breath. Exhale. One more here. Inhale. Exhale. Now let's tuck the toes under behind you. In breath again. Exhale, draw in that TVA muscles, and I like you to float the knees off. 
So you find that whole core, 360 around the waistline, it's working quite hard now. We stay here, in breath. Exhale, we pull up. Two more times, in breath. Exhale, we pull up. Last one. And release the knee down. Release the ankle. And let's go ahead and transition ourselves lying on the floor. So turn to your side. And let's go ahead, bring our back on the floor. Onto a supine position. Your feet are parallel. Your knees are pointing up to the sky. About a first different distance between each heel. Your pelvis in your comfortable position. There's a slight gap underneath the lower spine. Your shoulders are resting down to the floor. There's a slight gap underneath your neck cavity. Your neck is long, your arms are active, reaching to your feet. Now let's work again that transverse abdominis in this position. Inhaling, rib cage expanding. Exhaling, again, you're gonna wrap that deep corset muscle in towards the center without moving the pelvis, without moving the lower back. In breath. Exhale. In breath, two more times. Exhale. Last one, in breath. Exhale. And let's just stay there. Now imagine there's a ruler stretching from the top of the spine down towards the pelvis. Holding that corset muscle nice and tight, we breathe out, pulling in the center. We press the feet, press our arms down, lifting the spine up in one straight line. Again, imagining that you still have that ruler stretching in the middle of the body. And hold an in breath. Exhale, folding through the hip, we lower everything back down to your starting position. Exhale, we lift, half the waistline in, inhale, hold, exhale, come back down two more times, exhale, lift, in breath, exhale, and down, last one, exhale, in breath. Let's hold here. Now as you exhale, I like you to lift the feet up. So heels down, dorsiflex the feet. Keep the pelvis nice and high. Press the arms down. Can we lift a little higher maybe? And then lower the feet down. Nice breath out. Press the toes down. Lift the heels up. Hold that pelvis high. In breath. Exhale. Lower the heels down. One more time. Exhale, dorsiflex the feet, heels down, toes off. Hold an in breath. Exhale, feet down. And press the ball of the feet down, lift the heels up. The pelvis doesn't drop. Hold it up there. In breath. Exhale. And stay up. Another in breath. Exhale, release the pelvis all the way back down to the floor. Okay, now we're going to stabilize the pelvis. Leg lift coming up. As you breathe out, imagine you have a cup of tea resting in the front of your pelvis. We take the leg closer to me, up, in a tabletop position. Bring the knee right over the hip joint and the shin bone is parallel with the ground. Now, stabilize the pelvis, work that TBA muscle, we lower the leg down. Exhale, up. In breath. Exhale, up. Movement from the hip joint. And so the abdominal muscle is stabilizing your torso, but the movers of this exercise is actually your hip flexors. So we work in the hip flexors here while we work the TBA muscle to stabilize the spine. One more. 
and take the leg down. Let's switch over to this side. Breathe out, we'll lift. Over as you inhale, exhale, lower, lengthen the hip flexors, exhale, folding the hip flexors, lengthening, exhale, folding, lengthening, and three more. Stabilize the pelvis. Two. Last. And let's hold that tabletop. Now, moving on to a bit more challenging is called the leg changes. You really, your TVA muscles really need to work so right now as you breathe out. We switch the leg. And switch the leg. And switch the leg. As a checkpoint, you can place one hand on top of the front pelvis and slip the other arm or the other hand to the small of the back. See if you can keep that space constant at all time while you're moving the leg up and down. If you pass that test, hold that center even deeper. You may even take your arms up to the sky. Continue with the leg changes. If that's too challenging, just keep the arms down by the side. Two more sets. Last set. Both legs are up to tabletop and let's stay. Turn the palms towards your thigh. Now here I want you to stabilize the ribcage girdle. As we inhale, we take the arms overhead. Maintaining the trunk placement. Exhale. Right down to the other side. Inhale. Arms overhead. Exhale. So what we want to watch here, as the arms go overhead, that the ribcage does not pop off the floor, creating more gap than you already have. And we inhale, arms overhead, working the upper quadrant of the abdominal. Exhale. Last two. Exhale, last one, exhale, good. Place your hands against the thigh. As you breathe out, I'd like you to push the hands down and put a break with your thigh and keep that deep abdominal engagement. So here we go, we breathe out, we stay. Five, four, three, two, one, release, two more times. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Last one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one, and well done. Squeezing the inner thighs together, stretch your arms up to the T position. We're gonna work our oblique muscles for the spine twist to pint. We inhale, rotating the lower half of the body from the waistline. Allow the legs to travel together as one unit. Exhale, back to center. Over to you, inhale. Exhale, inhale, anchor the shoulders down. Exhale, keeping the thighs together as deep as off, you only have one leg. You can imagine you're a mermaid or a merman. So you're rotating your feet to the left and the right from the waistline. Exhale. One more each side. Exhale. And the last one. Exhale. Okay, lower one foot down. Second leg down, separate the feet a little bit. And let's go ahead and interlace our fingers. Place your hands to the back of your head. My assistant is wandering around today. <laughs> um, all right, now moving on to our chest lift. So we're gonna work our rectus abdominals. So the six pack muscle here. Elbows are off the floor here. As you breathe out, again, work onto that TVA muscle, the deep abdominal. I want you to then melt the lower spine to the floor. 
using your abdominal, not your glute, not your bottom muscle. Then lengthen the spine and lift. You stretch your arms, place them in the back of your thighs. Lift up a little higher. Take your arms back behind your head. And come on down. Breath out. Melting the lower spine, lifting the upper back. Reach your arms behind your thigh. Lift up a little higher. Hold that new height. And hands behind. Come on down. Again, exhale. Lower back, resting on the floor. Arms reaching forward. You can use your arm muscle to help you up a little bit more. But I really want to see that dent happening in the abdominal. Take your arms behind your head and release down. Again. Exhale, in breath, lengthen up, exhale, arms behind and come down. And the next time we're going to stay up and add some rotation, exhale, and reach, lift, 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 and stay lifted, stretch your arms over your thigh. Add rotation from the waist, rotate towards me. But I want you to think about going forward. Reach out something in front of you there and center. Exhale, reach out forward and center. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, working the obliques muscle here. So your external oblique working to lift up higher and center. Exhale, in breath, exhale, in breath. One more each side. We're almost there. Last one. We go center, grab the back of your thigh, bend the elbows. Can we live a little higher? Can we pull that abs a little bit deeper, deeper, deeper? Hold, hands behind your head. It's working. And release back down. Well done. All right, arms out, back to the side of the body. Float one leg up to the tabletop. Stabilize the center. Second leg up, join into tabletop. Hold it up there. Extend, both legs straight up. So your transverse abdominis is really stressing out, trying to hold it together and hold the legs up there. We bend the knee. Exhale. And we bend. Try to keep that pelvis down and you're not rounding the back to lift the leg out. So, if you find it challenging to fully extend of the knee because of the flexibility, just go to your maximum without actually tipping the pelvis and fall. Two more times. Exhale. And we fall. Last one. Let's stay there, up there. Dorsiflex your feet, your ankle. Point like ballerinas. Dorsiflex, flex, point like ballerinas. And keep a watch that your feet are of the same height. And we flex, we point, we flex, we point, we pull the center in, we flex, we point. Last one, flex, we point, we bend the knee, we hug the thighs for a moment, Rock left and right if you need to. Stretch that lower spine just for a moment. Well done, well done. All right, let's take the foot down. One, two, and let's rotate our body, your body towards me. Moving to our side left. Stack the legs together. Reach the bottom arm along underneath your head. So you need to create a straight line from the toes and tip of the hands and vice versa. Top hand goes in front of the chest. And what's really important is for you to lift the waistline up. So we're not hanging down or swaying down in the spine. We're going to maintain or try to maintain that spine to be in a beautiful straight alignment, which means the bottom obliques have to work. Okay, bottom obliques working, front abs working, so you don't actually topple forward. And the back muscles working too, so they actually fall backward. Okay, then here, squeezing the legs together. Then you float the legs off the floor, and we start here. We breathe out. We're going to contract the top oblique muscle, 
and lengthen the bottom oblique muscle to the floor, creating a little banana shape here, and lengthen on, lengthen down. Exhale, reaching, and center. You want to put a break equally at the front of the belly and at the back of the spine. So your abdominal muscles working 50% and your back muscles working 50%, and your top oblique is working 100% to lift the legs up and down. Two more. Lift and down. Last one. Lift and well done. Okay. Bend the knees. Help yourself up. Come up to your forearm. Align the shoulder and the elbow. Now. There are two versions of the side bridge that you can do. The first version is a slightly easier version with the bent knee position. You can also do this with a straight leg position. So I'm going to show you the both of them, the both option. First of all, I want to really lift the underneath rib cage and the waistline so that you maintain that beautiful spinal alignment. Top arm here, present that chest, look forward, and as you breathe out, press the forearm down, lifting the pelvis, reaching up and down. And this is doable for you. You can also straighten both legs. So increasing the lever of the body, increasing the challenge of the exercise and lengthen down. So I'd like you to choose a version that suits you today. Lift and down. Again, who will lift and down and two more lift and down. Last one lift. Well done. All right, tuck the legs in and let's switch over to the other side. Side lift. Stretch out, long line, tip of the fingers and to the toes. Pressing the hands down, breathe in. Hey, can we sit down? As exhale, we'll lift and reach down. Exhale, just really pull up the center, contract the top oblique, lengthen the bottom one, and down. Again, exhale, and down. And lift. You may find that one side is a little trickier for you, that you want to work a little bit more on that side. And just observe what your body does today. One more time, please. Exhale. Good job. All right, onto a side bridge. Pick a position, bent knee position, or straight legs. Again, align the shoulder and the elbow, lifting the armpit girdle, the ribcage girdle, and the waist, and stay long. Breath out. Let's press down to lift. Inhale, lengthening to lower. So you're going to resist. And exhale. And resist the gravity as you go down. Again, exhale and lengthen and exhale and lengthen last one exhale and lengthen well done okay tuck the feet in onto a quadruped position we have the shoulder and the heel of the palm in one vertical alignment the hip and the knee in one vertical alignment. And pushing the floor away, lengthening the spine, breath out, TBA, transverse abdominis, pull in and hold that position. Now I'd like you to tuck the toes under. We're going to float the knees off. So hovering slightly off the floor. And we stay there for five, four, three, two, one, we lower down. Again, we exhale, we float. Five, four, three, 
neck is long, two, one, and we lower. Now, adding a little bit more challenge if this is suitable for you, otherwise you can just hold that hovering modified plank position. We press up again, now stay. We walk the feet to the edge of the mat, one, two, bring it back underneath you, and then out, out, and out, out, and out, out, two more sets, out, out, last set, out, out, and lower, well done. Now we're gonna move it backward, not quite to a plank position, a traditional plank position, but just slightly, so in the midway. So we breathe out, TVA in, lifting the knees up, hold that posture. And we step back slightly, step back. We fall forward, forward. We step, step back, go forward, forward. The pelvis is stable, the spine is long. We press out, hold that center forward, forward. Three more, out, out, forward, forward. Two more, out, out, forward, forward. Last one, out, out, forward, forward. Hold and release. Well done, release your ankle, send the pelvis back, stretch your arms for rest position, a quick one. And release. Let's go to our front, please. Bring your arms long by the side of your body. Let's do our back extension. So this is where we are gonna work that intrinsic deep back muscle here. Take your arms by the side. Reaching the sitting bone down towards the feet and really power up your legs. So engage your muscles around your legs. Right, both you. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to lift that lower abs up. Power through the arms to the side of your body. We inhale. We lift the upper back up. Making sure that lower spine doesn't sway down, but you want to power through the abdominal to support the spine. And come on down. Inhale. We lift. Exhale, we come down, and inhale, we lift. Exhale, please make sure that your neck is, in, is nice and long, and inhale, lift. Exhale, last two, inhale, <laughs> bulky, <laughs> and down, you're blocking the camera. <laughs> Inhale, lift, and exhale, well done. All right, bring the forearm on the side of your body. Now, pull the abdominal muscle around your back and push off with the arms. Sit back to your heels for another quick rest position. And let's roll the spine up. Great, let's finish the class with some percussive TBA engagement. Okay, so kneeling up. We need to sit down, buddy. Come on, good job. All right, now sort out my assistant already now. All right, so here, nice and tall. We're gonna inhale through the nose. Think about the rib cage expansion. Exhale, you're gonna pull in tight, okay? So we can have your hands here, if you like. You can have your hands here for a little tactile cue. More than welcome. So we inhale. Exhale. Five more. Three, two, one. Good job. And release. Just shake it out. Okay. Well done. Thank you for joining me and Boki for the class today and really hope to see you on the mat, another class. Have a great day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done.
I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoy this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.